Greetings, viewers. Welcome to Regal Realm, your go-to channel for all things royal. Today, we will be discussing the recent appearance of Prince Harry at the British Supreme Court and the implications it has on the couple's ongoing battle with the media. As you may know, the Duke of Sussex made an unnecessary trip to London to join a number of celebrities at the British Supreme Court for a hearing against the Daily Mail. While the couple has complained many times about media interference in their private lives, Harry's appearance in court was not only unnecessary, but also undesirable. So why did he show up in front of the paparazzi unnecessarily? The answer is simple, to be constantly on the radar. Apparently, that's why Harry flew to London, and it's worth noting that the couple's private plane ride and the carbon footprint it leaves behind didn't escape public scrutiny. It begs the question of how we can believe the Dukes of Sussex's accusations of media interference in their private lives when they constantly court the media's attention. According to royal commentator Tom Slater, Harry and Meghan don't really want privacy. Instead, they want to control their story and everything the press says and writes about them. It's ridiculous to look at Harry as a poster boy defending privacy when, in fact, he doesn't really want it. Slater argues that Harry is leading a crusade against the British press not just for its alleged criminal actions, but simply for disagreeing with him. For being criticized by the media when he and Meghan Markle first met. He claimed that comments written about Meghan had racist overtones. It appears that Harry is retaliating for the media's unwillingness to act at their behest. These accusations and the court appearance are his way of revenge. Confirming Slater's point, Prince Harry's memoir Spare reveal a great deal of personal and intimate details, including when he talked about his todger or losing his virginity in the field behind the pub. Slater commented that after reading Harry's book, he felt like an eyewitness to the events without any desire to do so. I feel I know his anatomy far better than I know my own, he said. It begs the question of why anyone would think of boosting the book's ratings with such detail. The idea that Prince Harry is the poster boy for privacy is utterly ridiculous, Slater continued. And ridiculous not least because he has been quite convincingly and justifiably accused of invading the privacy of his own, the royal family, in his Netflix documentary and memoir Spare. As always, the couple has a double standard. In conclusion, it's evident that Harry and Meghan want to control what is said about them. The whole pantomime that Harry and Meghan's show has become seems to serve this purpose. Slater's reflections are a reminder that the couple's actions don't always match their words. It's important to note that while they have the right to defend themselves, their double standards have not gone unnoticed. We hope you enjoyed this insight into the ongoing battle between Prince Harry and the media. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all things royal. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.